If you're looking to raise quails with ongoing meat and egg production, you will obviously need to have them mating so you can go through each life cycle, each generation, and keep replenishing them. Now, in order to do that, obviously they need to mate, so it's good to understand what actually happens when they mate. The process is the rooster jumps on the back of the hen, pulls the hen's feathers at the back of the neck. That creates a bit of a hot, well, obviously holds it, and it creates an arch in the back of the, on the back of the hen, and that sort of presents the cloaca. So the cloaca is the vent, uh, also known as the vent. The cloaca is where everything comes out. So you've got all of the manure comes out, all the urine, all the crap. Uh, for the hens, it's the eggs as well. And for the males, it's, it's the same as that, but it's also the sperm comes out of there. And it's where the hens store the sperm. So when that back arches with the rooster on top of the hen, the male, which has a swollen uh, vent, can actually touch it, touch that, his vent to her vent, and that's called a, a cloacal kiss. So the vent, obviously the technical term is cloaca. Um, that kiss is where the, the sperm is transferred, and because the hen tends to evert her cloaca or her vent pushes it out a little bit, when that kiss happens, she then retracts it and the sperm then gets transferred up inside the hen. And she has these tubes where she can save that uh, sperm. Now, interestingly enough, uh, after you remove roosters from the, from the cage, uh, the, the hen will actually be fertile for about a week after the last mating process. Uh, and it will take, from the first mating process, it will take about three to four days before it actually goes into an egg, so before you get fertile eggs. Uh, so that's an interesting thing to remember because you can remove roosters and then quickly gather the eggs for maybe one more batch and you'll still have them fertile. Uh, so that's very useful to know. One of the things you need to be aware of if you're obviously doing a lot of this is you have to get the ratios right. If you have too many roosters, uh, too many hens, they'll get overbred and the hens will get bashed up really badly. Um, if you have a ratio if you've got them tight together, you can one to five. One rooster to five hens is quite good. Um, you can go to lower pairings, but um, that's more if you've got a one to one, just a one to one, that'll be okay, they'll get along fine. It's when there's, a, there's more in a group and they're more competitive. So if you don't get the ratios right, the, the roosters will fight a lot and then they'll overbreed the hens and they'll all get stressed, both the rooster and hens, and you don't want stressed birds, you want them to be calm, pleasant, living a healthy lifestyle and they'll be very productive for you. So when the, the mating happens, you, you see there will be sometimes some competition. A couple of roosters might try to fight each other. Occasionally you'll see a hen fight off a rooster. Um, she might just not want the attention. You just give them a bit of a, a, bit of a pushback and maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. Um, Usually the roosters are dominant, so they will just do it. And to be honest, the day takes a couple of seconds, maybe three or four seconds, and the rooster's done, and he's way. There's no whining and dining; it's just gone uh, onto the next hen. And given that, roosters will do it all day long if they could. And you really don't need that because, as, as I mentioned, the hen can store that sperm for up to a week, so you can get fertile eggs. So that's really important that you don't have too many roosters. This young bird's trying to mate for the first time, they don't quite have the skill yet. <laughs> so that's the mating process. It's very simple, it's very quick. As long as you manage your rooster numbers, your ratio to your hens, then you've got no problems, they'll take care of themselves and you'll have those fertilised eggs to be able to keep producing the next batch after batch and keep that production going along.